Do you have any advice for like maybe a new band who's maybe right now they're in the garage doing their thing and they want to take like that first step into uh, the world? Um, boy, gosh, it's, it's tough because mm-hmm. as I mentioned, luck, luck has to kind of be there for most, most people to, to get out there. But um, I would say, first of all, try and get along with each other and don't, don't break up the band over little arguments and things, you know, stick together, try and try and be easy to work with one another. And then for getting your band out there, do a multiple attack, you know, don't just rely on one thing like, you know, promoting yourself online, promote online, but also get out there and maybe put some posters up for your shows, you know, go to other band shows, get to know people, do, do shows wherever you can, um, make a personal connection beyond just being online. Both things are important. But um, I think there's, you know, with how much time we all spend online these days, it's that much more potent when you're meeting someone in person, you know, so so get out there and, you know, yeah, put the posters up and, you know, do the shows, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's great to have videos of your band playing online, that's important and and to promote your shows online, but yeah, get out there get out there and do as much as you can and yet attack it from multiple angles. Use every, everything you got in terms of promotion, you know, traditional old school stuff that we did in the nineties, like, you know, handing out physical flyers and hanging up physical flyers and things like that. And then handing out your CDs maybe have, and then on top of that, do all of the modern stuff that you can, you know, as well, use social media as well as you can. So yeah, multiple track attack and, and, try and get along with each other. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's, that's, that's Hell a yeah. big, that's a big thing. So many good bands break up before they, and they don't realize that they probably could have made it if they had just put aside some of the arguments and just kept it going. Mm-hmm. Well said. And even just kind of being in the city of Toronto and like going to small clubs too. some of my favorite bands of the city no longer exist anymore. And mm-hmm. right before something big was going to happen. But again, like such no. sound advice, Alex, and,